it started last year uh, when Mrs. Lozier spoke to me about doing something to leave in the library, uh, sort of to leave behind when I graduated. And it escalated into this, this big project, uh, 10 by 30 foot mural, which uh, did jointly with Matt. Basically, it's divided into six different uh, genres of literature. Since it's for the library, we felt it best to do the whole thing on different parts of literature and uh, and we came up with science fiction, children's literature, uh, fantasy, classical romance, western, Native American, and mystery. Each one of these squares represents a one foot section on the panel. We chalk lined one foot squares on each panel and were able to more accurately uh, draw the cartoon for, for the painting. It just made transferring our design on paper onto the panel extremely easy because you just took the one square and just stuck it up there and it was it just went really quickly we even uh, used a projector at one on some of them we both definitely learned a lot about about how to go about it and how to deal with acrylics and and more importantly painting we big painting <laughs> big painting on a large scale we never have seen this as a single unit until today Right. Uh, when it was finally finished being right. put up. It, it looks great. It looks great. <laughs> it's, it, it it's just unbelievable. It's so surprising that it's worked so well. The Bloomington High School North Library strives to be a student-centered place, and we think it's befitting that the library um, have an evening of the arts to celebrate the accomplishments of the artists here at Bloomington High School North. I think it's an ideal place. Years ago, uh, some students, probably in 1988 or 87, came to me with this idea of having drama night, an arts night, and we did that. And this is something that has continued. But I think it's wonderful that these two young men are giving some of their education and their experience back to this school. They're not just leaving a visual legacy, but they're leaving a legacy of generosity, of concern, of thoughtfulness, and caring about this library and this school and their environment. And I think that's a wonderful thing to lead to future generations. Before we actually go ahead and do the unveiling, I'd like to say thank you to, on behalf of both of us, to everybody who is so helpful. Um, Mrs. Lozier for asking in the first place, uh, Mrs. Smith for helping out, all the people in the art department, Mr. Martin for actually giving us the money we needed to do it. Thank you.